Meghan Markle's two demands before she will reconcile with Kate and William. Meghan Markle is reportedly blocking Prince Harry from reconciling with his brother Prince William and sister-in-law Kate Middleton, and there are two things she wants before any reunion. Meghan Markle has a couple of demands before she and Prince Harry consider a reconciliation with his elder brother Prince William and sister-in-law, Kate Middleton. William and Kate are reportedly attempting to bridge the gap with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle however, the relationship between the Sussexes and the wider royal family remains strained following their step back from royal duties. Hello viewers, please remember to subscribe and click on the notifications bell icon, so you will be notified whenever we upload new cookies about the British royal family. According to royal author Tom Quinn, while there is interest in reconciling from William and Kate's side, Meghan Markle is not quite prepared to make amends unless certain conditions are met. Speaking to the Mirror, Quinn revealed, Harry would like a reconciliation, but supports his wife completely and until she feels that the royal family have been sufficiently nice to her and grovelingly apologised for the past it's not going to happen. Post-Royal Life the Duke and Duchess of Sussex made various explosive allegations against the royal institution during high-profile interviews and through their revealing Netflix documentary, Harry and Meghan. According to royal commentator Quinn, Meghan might be preventing Harry from initiating conciliatory talks with the Prince and Princess of Wales, creating a barrier that stops him from extending an olive branch, even in light of Kate's cancer diagnosis. Mr. Quinn remarked, there has been a shift here since Kate's illness Harry and Meghan do feel they need to extend an olive branch, but Meghan's sense of grievance is still preventing anything really meaningful happening. Illness often brings warring family members together, and there have been hopes at Kensington Palace that Kate's illness might do it. The royal author claims William and Kate have made efforts to repair ties with the Sussexes and have extended an invitation to Meghan and Harry, encouraging them to bring Archie and Lilibet to the UK for a visit, but Meghan has refused. He added, there is no way Meghan would bring the children to the UK, he continued. William and Kate have suggested that Meghan and Harry bring the children and that the two couples and their families try to make up, but the suggestion is not leading anywhere so far. The relationship between Meghan and Harry and William and Kate has been tense following the Sussexes' frank disclosures about royal life in their Netflix documentary series and their bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey. In his explosive memoir Spare, Harry levels multiple accusations against his brother and sister-in-law. He describes a heated argument with William, alleging that the Prince of Wales called Meghan difficult, rude and abrasive. Harry further claims that during this altercation, William grabbed me by the collar, ripping my necklace, and he knocked me to the floor. Get the latest celebrity gossip and telly news sent straight to your inbox. Sign up to our daily showbiz newsletter here. Prince Harry and Meghan reality disappoints as close friend gives unique insight inside Montecito Mansion. The reality of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's lives disappoints people, according to a close friend who has given a fascinating insight into the couple's lives. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stay in the Californian community of Montecito in a multi-million dollar mansion. Along with their children Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, they are said to keep themselves to themselves although reports suggest some locals are fed up with them. Now, Journalist Bryony Gordon has opened up about her own friendship with the pair. And she said people often don't believe her when she tells them how normal the couple is. Writing in Mail Online, she said, when I tell them my honest opinion, that he is kind, funny and pretty damn normal, all things considered, I often see a flash of disappointment cloud their faces, followed quickly by words to the effect of well you would say that, you know him as if knowing someone should disqualify you from having a trusted opinion about them. Gordon became friends with Harry in 2016 when he, Prince William and Kate Middleton launched mental health initiative Heads Together. He later appeared on her podcast and she has visited him and Meghan in the USA. Gordon says Harry cares passionately about injured veterans and has done more than most to change perceptions of mental health in this country. 
She spent an afternoon at their mansion and described kids running around happily as we drank tea while the Duke proudly showed me the DIY photo wall he'd recently created, featuring pictures of his mum. She added, there are no airs or graces with them, no desire to do anything other than protect their children from an increasingly digital world that likes nothing more than seeing the worst in people. A world that forgets that no matter how high-profile a person is, they're just doing their best, like everyone else. This is not what people want to hear, but it is what I've found, time and time again. Gordon's description is in sharp contrast to reports in America that claim staff had dubbed Meghan a dictator in high heels. Sources told The Hollywood Reporter, everyone's terrified of Meghan. She belittles people, she doesn't take advice. They're both poor decision makers, they change their minds frequently. Meghan Markle treats Prince Harry horrendously. Royal family biographer says the Duke is pushed out of the way. Prince Harry appears unhappy and marginalized in his relationship with Meghan Markle, according to biographer Angela Levin. He is attempting to reconnect with old friends and find a way back to the royal family amid feelings of isolation. Prince Harry has appeared quite miserable recently, according to royal family biographer Angela Levin. She thinks Harry has been left in an insignificant position, even within his relationship, suggesting that Meghan Markle treats him poorly. Levin has pointed out how, during filming in Colombia and Africa, Harry seemed sidelined and not involved. However, she is also surprised to discover that Harry is reaching out to his former friends in an attempt to reconnect with his family. You could say Harry is not even the spare to his wife. He's almost nothing. She, Meghan, treats him horrendously. If you look at the filming of them in Colombia and Africa, he is not asked anything. He's pushed out of the way, the son quoted Levin as saying. I was completely and utterly astonished to learn that Harry is trying to call in his old friends to help him get back within his own family, Levin added. Harry has been feeling increasingly lonely in California, and has started reaching out to old acquaintances in the UK, sources revealed to the publication. His recent trip to Colombia apparently emphasized how Meghan thrives in the public eye while Harry seemed withdrawn and unhappy, the source said. As per the Sun, Harry is exploring ways to re-engage with the royal family, and is consulting with former friends and advisors for guidance. However, those around him acknowledge that repairing the damage he has caused will not be easy. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.